Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. We just made it to Las Vegas. We are here at the LAS, the airport. Just got here in Vegas. It's been a long day of travel. But now we're gonna go start some eating. Uh, we're gonna start with a slider challenge at Born and Raised. So, I'll tell you the info then, let's go. So here we are, sunny, sunny Las Vegas. I, Las Vegas is a desert, I can't believe it. And it's beautiful and warm out. I'm still in like actual pants and clothes because I'm, it was like super cold and snow this morning. But I am here at Born and Raised here in Las Vegas to do their famous Las Vegas slider challenge. Here with Mr. Joe, Jixer Joe. We have Mr. Rocky, we have Mr. Blaine. Awesome people, great friends. They're here to watch me do the challenge, and maybe we'll get some more eating with them later. But with that, let's head on in, see what we can do, and I'll tell you all about the challenge. So I have 16 of their unique sliders, and then what is supposed to be a massive pound of loaded fries or something like that, which are fries and cheese and all that stuff. So I guess we have 30 minutes, the record's 11 and a half. So let's get started. We'll say the count of five, four, three, I don't know what this is, two, one, let's go. Hey everybody, welcome to today's video where today we are at Born and Raised to do their famous, famous, famous slider challenge. So this Vegas slider challenge consists of 16 of their different sliders. So they have 16 on the menu, you get one of each. They range from everything between like a more traditional hamburger to a fish, like a piece of fried fish. They had one which was basically like a lobster roll, so lobster with mayonnaise. Um, then they had a katsu, like a chicken katsu, so like a deep fried piece of chicken. Um, so lots of variety within these sliders. Um, so different tastes, which was quite nice. There was only one that kind of tastes a little off to me, and I think it was the uh, steak. There was a steak one, or it was supposed to be some kind of steak or roast beef and it just tasted very very charred but besides that all the little sliders did taste good that one there was like a chicken burger as well so definitely a lot of variety pretty cool nice to have that uh, variety in such a challenge so the overall weight of this challenge is supposed to be somewhere around five six pounds um, and that is supposed to be one pound of fries one pound of their loaded fries well I think it was a little more and you'll kind of see why I'll let you take your own opinion and comment down below if you think that was more than a pound um, once I get to them and let's just say I did not expect the loaded fries to have so much cheese so they were essentially french fries then it had lots of like mozzarella orange ch or cheddar lots of cheddar cheese maybe a little bit of mozzarella but like piles and piles and piles of cheddar cheese then there was a buffalo sauce, then there was a melted, I don't know if it's supposed to be blue cheese dressing or just melted blue cheese. Um, so yeah, it was it was definitely some interesting tastes and flavors. Previous record was somewhere around 11 and a half minutes, uh, held by Mr. Brandon, Dead Garbage Disposal Clark. Um, so we're just having some fun, seeing what we're gonna get at. So I'll let you get to the rest of the video. I hope you enjoy the challenge um, and well, I'll tell you a little bit more about it in a bit. Secret little bits. So, don't miss that and enjoy.
go. So in case you can't tell, after really viewing these fries and really seeing all that cheese on them, like literally just a solid layer of cheese over top, I knew this was going to be interesting. So if you notice, it took me, we'll say five minutes, just over five minutes to do the sliders. So now let's see how long it takes me to eat this dang, dang cheese. Just look at that. Look at all the cheese on those fries. And if you are going, oh my god, that looks lovely, I just have to disagree. Additionally with these fries is there was literally so 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 much cheese It was like a kind of almost like a choking hazard because it's really stringy So I couldn't really even just like swallow them normally like literally just look at all that nasty cheese And it honestly seemed that way. Like the pile of fries just didn't seem to end. They had them so compressed in there that, oh, I don't even know how, like actual weight, I don't know how many fries actually would have been in there. But I was definitely looking forward to ending eating this, like for just to be done. Because this was actually so difficult for me to just eat all these dang cheesy fries that didn't end. I've been eating fries for like three minutes, over three minutes at this point. It's crazy. Way too much cheese.
25? Yeah. I hate cheese. I should have eaten that first. Yeah, yeah. Oh man. Okay. I didn't. I thought it was. I thought it was more just like buffalo sauce on it. I didn't realize there was so much cheese. Like. Yeah. Everybody, so just finish up that challenge. The sliders tasted great. I had a really hard time with those fries because they were absolutely covered in cheese, and I really don't like the taste of cheese. But that, I want to give a huge thank you to everybody here at Born and Raised. I uh, really appreciate the service and the food. So we get the meal for free. We got a new record on the challenge. And that, everybody, hope you enjoy it. And with that, until next time, say happy, healthy, hungry, and happy eating. everyone, so we just finished that up. Pretty cool challenge. Uh, the sliders are nice, nice variety. Those fries, I don't know, lots of cheese. Not my favorite thing. Uh, actually, I think the fries took me way longer than the rest of it. But uh, that was super cool. Thanks to all the guys for coming out watching. Woo. All the boys in the hood. Really yeet, yeet. bad lighting, but uh, now we're gonna go eat some ice cream. And I believe Blaine is gonna join me for this yeah, one. Yeah, trying it. And we're gonna go enjoy it. Like, ice cream is so much more enjoyable in the heat. I know this, I live in Canada and I've eaten ice cream in the cold and in the heat is so much better.